My journey to becoming an artist has been a very long one. In some ways it's been hard won because I always painted and drew as a child and wanted to go to art school and my father was completely against that so there were big ructions in the family over it. And it took me until I was in my late 40s to actually get the courage together to start doing some work um, for myself. And so I started drawing and as a tiny child my granddad used to walk me around the lanes around the village in County Durham and he would name all the flowers and the trees so I had that background which was almost looking for a home. So when I actually started making art the subject matter was a given really, it was, it was an outlet for this deep love that I hold for the land and for all the beleaguered creatures that we have on the planet with us at the moment. The spirit of the land is truly sacred and it speaks to me very deeply and sometimes extremely directly and goes right into my heart. Through just doing what you might call the ordinary drawings of the hares and the foxes, it's like a conversation between me and the creature I'm, I'm drawing. And if I let myself go into a sort of, not a meditative space, but just to try and get in touch with the animal and then say, where are you? What is the landscape that you're in? You know... Share, share your love of life because they have this amazing spirit and if you have the fortune to look into the eyes of a wild animal face to face it is quite wonderful, it's quite wonderful, it's a real gift. This particular scraper board is a work with Raven as a spirit animal. It's called Raven Between the Worlds and it represents the raven and then the spirit of the raven moving between dimensions and leading me on a journey above the landscape, which is the, the local landscape around Crick Howell. You can see there are celestial elements to it and there's Celtic knotwork, which represents the tradition of the land, and these other elements, which are very geometric, but to me, they're like doors or windows that go, and you could follow these arrows, which are coming actually from the raven's beak and flying, so his core, those great sounds of the raven, are traveling across the land and splitting the air and going off into the different dimensions and I could sit for hours no doubt and journey with this raven. It would take me helped by its own spirit which is flying ahead of it and go through these various dimensional doors into um, other places. My garden is really, really important. It's a refuge from, uh, it, it, it makes a, a boundary between the street out at the front of the house and it's somewhere to go um, and spend time with the plants, listen to the birds, um, sit really still and they come very close. The connection I feel with the flocks of birds that are around here. We have masses of flocks 
rooks and crows, masses of jackdaws. Every day they're swooping around the house and they're in the garden and they're, they're, they're comical and wonderful. It brings me joy and that in my art I want to share that joy, that love that I have. So that's what I'm trying to do really.